I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Manu and Michael Sileti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 6.29 from the chapter number 6. The problem is list the 8 unused states in the switch tail ring counter of figure 6.32a. This is the figure 6.32a, 4 stage switch tail ring counter. We have to make a list of the 8 unused states of this ring counter given in figure 6.32a and then we have to determine the next state for each of the states so for this given states we have to find out the next state and then we have to show that the counter finds itself in an invalid state we have to modify the circuit as recommended in the text so in the book you will find some modification for avoiding this unused state or invalid state conditions and then so that the counter produces the same sequence of states that the circuit reaches a valid state from any of the unused state that means after modification the circuit will attain a used state from any one of the unused state so this is the figure 6.32a here we can see that we have four d flip-flops and the complemented output of this last flip-flop is feedback to the input of this first flip-flop okay that means whatever we have here at this complemented output it will be the next flip-flop input and accordingly this a value will be changed before starting this problem let us see the u state these are the used states as given in the book okay this part is required decoding okay for this problem solution you can ignore this part and you just have to see these states okay these are the used states that means starting from 0 0 0 this next state will come that means whenever we have 0 0 0 and 0 this complement will be connected here because whenever we have 0 this is 1 so this is connected here and with the next clock cycle this A will be modified with this complemented output that means whenever we have 0 we have 1 here and this 1 is connected here okay so previously it was 0 0 0 and 0 okay that means initially this all this flip flop are reset and when we have this next clock this one is feedback here okay that means this one will come here so here we'll have one this zero will come here zero zero and zero okay here we can see whenever we have this present state is zero 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 that is zero the next state is one zero 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 here we have seen that it, the next state is one zero 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 and when we have one zero 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 this is again zero so it will be one again so here we'll have one again so here we'll have one this one will again come here and this zero will come here and this zero will come here so here we'll have one one zero zero so after one zero 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 the next state is one one zero zero and these are the u states that means after the zero 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 one it will again go to zero 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 so for the solution of this problem we have to consider the unused states the valid states sequence is here we have to see from it from zero it is going to this is eight from eight it is going to twelve and from twelve it is going to fourteen then fifteen then again go to seven then three then one and then zero okay zero again so here we can write 0, 8, 12, 14, 15, then 7, 3, 1. And after 1, it will again go to 0. That means this sequence will repeat again. So our new states are, so here we'll have 0 is u state, so 1 is there again. So 2 is not there in the u state, so 2. Then we have 3 here, 4 is not there, so 4. Then we have 5, our new state, then 6 is also not there so 6 7 is there 8 is there and 9 is not there 9 then 11 then 12 is there then 13 14 is there 15 is there okay so these are the unused states so now we have to find out the next states for this unused state suppose we are making now the state table for this unused state okay present state then next state so the present state suppose when we have 2 0 0 1 0 then this is 4 0 1 0 0 then we have 5 0 1 0 1 so this table is nothing but the state table of the unused state okay so after 5 we have this is 6 0 1 1 0 then we have 9 1 0 0 1 then we have 10, 1, 0, 1, 0. Then we have 11, 1, 0, 1, 1. Then we have 13, 1, 1, 0, 1. 
okay that means 8 plus 4 plus 1 that is 13 okay now we will find out the next step so we have to use this circuit for finding out the next step okay that means whenever we have e is equal to 0 e complement is 1 okay that means whenever we have the least significant bit is 0 we will have the complemented output is 1 and it will be feedback to this d input okay that means whenever we have previously e equal to 0 okay in the next step the value of a will be 1 when you have e equal to 1 this e bar will be 0 that means this 0 is again feedback here so a value will be 0 okay so using this circuit we will find out the next step so whenever we have 0 0 1 0 this e is 0 okay this a b c and e these are the next steps of a of t plus 1 b of t plus 1 c of t plus 1 and and e of t plus 1 so suppose these are the next steps that means whenever we have e equal to 0 e complement will be 1 this 1 will be this complemented output that is 1 will be feedback here at this input okay of the first flip flop so a will be 1 okay 1 next this 0 will come here okay so that means 0 here this 0 will come here okay so we'll have 0 and this 1 will come here because it is a shift register whatever be the that means we have got now 9 so next we have this is 4 4 unused state so whenever we have 4 unused state this means this e is 0 that means e complement is 1 so this 1 will be feedback here so here we will have 1 and this 0 will come here 0 then 1 0 that means this is 10 next we have this is 5 from 5 what will have this is 1 e is 1 so e complement will be 0 so here we will have 0 and this 0 will come here this 1 will come here and this 0 will come here that means this is 0 0 1 0 that means this is 2 next we have this is 0 1 1 0 e is 0 so e complement will be 1 so here we'll have 1 okay this 0 will come here this 1 will come here and this 1 will come here that means this is 1 0 1 1 means it is 11 8 plus 2 plus 1 it is 11 so this one was 6 this is 9 okay this one is 10 this is 11 this is 13 okay so when you have 9 as the present state what will be the next step so this e is 1 so e complement will be 0 so here we'll have 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 next we have e is 0 so e complement will be 1 so we'll have 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 so this one is nothing but 4 then this one is 13 so when you have 11 at the present state what will be the next step so here we'll have this e is 1 so e complement will be 0 so 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 so this is 5 okay next we have e is again 1 so e complement will be 0 so 0 1 1 0 so here we'll have 0 1 1 0 so this is nothing but 6 now we can see that if we see this next step values these are 9 10 2 11 4 13 5 and 6 so these all values are here at this unused states or these are the invalid states invalid states so these all these values are the invalid states so we have to make some correction now in the question it is given that modify the circuit as recommended in the text that means in the book there is a solution mentioned okay and we have to use that recommended solution from the book and so that that the counter automatically corrects if it attains at an unused state so from the book we can see that this was figure 6.32 a this one was figure 6.32 a these are the used state and then we are given with a solution at this part so the solution is one correcting procedure is to disconnect the output of flip-flop b that goes to the d input okay of the flip-flop c and instead enable the input of the flip-flop c by the function so we have to disconnect this input and we have to use some equation with modified input okay here so the given equation is here we have dc is equal to a plus c whole into b so from the book the recommended solution is 
we have to modify DC that is the third flip-flop input with this given equation D is equal to a plus C whole into B so this is the given solution that means the third flip-flop input previously it was directly B now this DC of this third flip-flop we have to modify with B whole into A plus C that means we have to add this A with C okay this output and then we have to multiply it with B and apply it in the D input now let us draw the modified circuit with this equation so the first two gates will be similar so here we'll have suppose this is one D flip flop this is another D flip flop this third flip flop input we have to modify and here we have this fourth D flip flop so here we have D D D this is DC this is DB suppose this is DA okay here we have A output this will be connected to B okay this will be similar so this part also will be similar only we have to modify this third input here we have to connect the clock inputs C okay so these are the clock inputs of all the flip-flops this will be similar to the previous diagram given in the book so this diagram is similar so we have to connect this clock input to a common clock because it is a synchronous circuit so we will directly connect or we will sort all this clock input okay so here we will have clock we have to modify this C input with this given equation so we have to keep this output as it is so this is E complement so you connect it directly to this input this part will remain same okay now only we have to modify this DC input with this equation so first of all take a connection from here A take a connection from C and make them input of a OR gate because we have to add them okay at this OR gate output we will have A plus C okay now we have to multiply this A plus C with B now bring this output here and you say N gate here that will multiply with B okay because B is here at this input and here we have at this input A plus C A plus C so here we will have at this output B whole into A plus C this is the required modification so we have modified this circuit so this figure is modified circuit for self correction so now we will again consider this unused states these are the unused states okay now after modification of this circuit what will be the next step so here we will write next step after modification so previously we got this unused state again okay these are the invalid states so now we will see after modification now we will use this circuit for finding out the next step so in this modified circuit we can see that this output of the first flip-flop is same this and the input of this second flip-flop is same okay because it is previously was also a db equal to a previously and now also it is a only the dc value is changed that means we have to now modify the this third column of this next step values okay now we have to modify this column with this equation so here we'll have this same these two column will be same so here we'll have one zero then we have one zero then we have zero zero one zero now this one is again zero one so this is one and one so here we have zero one then we have here zero one zero one now we have to see this third next step, that is c of t plus one after modification so from this circuit we can see that c of t plus one will be same as this one because it is a deep flip flop dc is equal to b whole into a plus c so this c output will be modified now so c output will be b whole into a plus c so you have to consider these present states okay so these are the present state we are finding out the next state after correction okay so we have to use b whole into a plus c a plus c is 1 and b is 0 so it will be 0 b whole into a plus c a plus c is 0 here so we will have 0 here next we have b whole into a plus c a plus c means 0 so it will be 0 next we have b b whole into a plus c b is 1 and a plus c is also 1 okay so it will be 1 so here we have b whole into a plus c b is 0 so this will be 0 so b is 0 here also so it will be 0 next will be 
this one b is 0 okay so b whole into a plus c will be 0 and here we have b is 1 and a plus c is also 1 okay so here we will have 1 so whatever be the previous value at this output of this c that will be the next step because we are directly giving this whatever we have here it is going here because it is a deep flip flop so here we have this output e so this e will be similar to this c previous c okay so here we'll have 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 0 okay this c column will be similar to this modified next step so this value is nothing but this is 9 next we have this one this one is 8 next we have this is 0 0 0 0 so 0 so this one is 1 0 1 1 this is 11 this is 0 1 0 0 this is 4 this one is 8 plus 2 plus 1 so it will be 11 next we have this is 1 0 1 means 5 this one is 0 1 1 0 this is 6 okay so the next values are 9 8 0 11 4 11 5 and 6 so here also you can see that we have some unused state so when we have 2 it is going to 9 so this 9 is also unused state okay now if we see this 9 okay from this 9 where will go if we have 9 at the present state it will go to 4 okay so this is another unused state so when we have 4 it will again go to this 8 okay so here we can see that this 8 is a u state here now okay that means whenever we have 9 it will go first to 4 and after 4 it will go to 8 so you can write here so the correction of invalid or unused states will occur occur in following sequence that means whenever we have 2 it will go to first 9 then it will go to 4 and then it will go to 8 okay because whenever we have 2 at the output it will go first to 9 then from 9 it will go to 4 and from 4 it will go to 8 that means now it is corrected to 8 so here we can see that if we have any one of these unused states so with the modified design this will be corrected to some u state whenever we have any one of these unused states from 10 13 6 11 and 5 it will go to a u state 0 that means whenever we have any one of these invalid outputs of 10 13 6 11 or 5 this circuit will automatically correct and it will bring the output to 0 that is a u state okay so this is the solution of the problem number 6.29 from the chapter number 6 Thank you for watching. If you have any question, please put it in the comment section below. Also like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.